talking to our team about is we are that team. Uh, you know, when you come within one point of beat Kentucky double over time with, with Vanderbilt, you know, I can run down the list of things that we all know happened this season. You are that team. You're just this close to finishing it. And it's a possession here, a possession there. Sometimes those possessions fall in the first half. Um, you know, you can't underestimate every single opportunity to score, every single opportunity to get a stop, every tip that we didn't gain possession of, or whatever the case may be. And I think that's been the lesson that we've had to learn. And that's maybe where some of our youth or inexperience in playing together has shown up, is that we've not valued the ball for 40 minutes. You know, we've only done it when it's mattered most, or we've done it when it's kind of been less pressure, and then when it mattered most, we maybe didn't handle the pressure at the moment. But all of those moments matter. And I think that's what we've learned probably the most. Um, you know, but like I said, we are that team, and that's that's where we're going to dwell. That's that's where we're gonna we're not gonna allow our thoughts to go any further from that of the would shoulda couldas and what if we would have this. What, that doesn't matter. We're good enough to have won those games that we lost. We can get blown out. You know, we lost by possession or two possessions, and we've got to take confidence in that fact and keep going forward. And and you know, we've still got plenty of basketball to play, and that's what's so. Unique. That's why they call it March Madness. You know, that's why all those things are out there, and I think why it's the greatest sport to follow, especially in college sports, is because when you start to reach this time of year, um, there are all kinds of crazy games and, and outcomes, and then you have conference tournaments, which yield even more crazier um, results that the previous part of the season hasn't dictated. And so we just want to be playing our best basketball. We want to, uh, you know, taking those lessons that we've learned and, and benefit from them, and benefit from them in the, in the form of winning the close ball games as, well, as opposed to losing them and put ourselves in the best position we can. What is the challenge for you as a coach, coaching staff, when you do have that young team, when you have so many close losses to keep them from, you know, getting down, I guess? Well, and, you know, I think the first thing you have to do is you yourself have to manage your own disappointment. You know, I haven't been any less disappointed than the team has when we just come up that short, but you've got to turn that disappointment you know, in the fuel, to fuel your fire going into the next competition. And, you know, the disappointment, it, strangely enough, a lot of those ball games, I was really encouraged because I'm like, gosh, we're just right there. And it's not like you're going into practice going, well, next year when we have this player or that player or when we get a, you know, we get more depth or more size or a better this or better that, we're not there. We're right there. And it's just a matter of possessions. It's not a matter of big, huge sweeping changes that have to be made. And we've just got to figure out how to get our mindset right to make a difference when we have those opportunities. Because I think it's been our mentality, our expectation, whether you want to attribute that to lack of experience or disappointment from the game before, maybe a little bit of a doubt that you allow to creep in. But we just try to stay really positive and, and dwell on the fact that I truly, truly believe that we're a really, really good team. And you know, we could just as easily be 23 and five right now as we are 15 and 13, you know, if, if the ball bounces a different way, if we get a shot there as opposed to a miss or, or get one or two more stops.